call to order the 10th regular meeting of the 2009-2010 Common Council. And as is customary, our city clerk will read the quote of the evening tonight by a uh, local Wisconsin philosopher named Vince Lombardi. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. The achievements of an organization are the results of the combined effort of each individual. Thank you, Sue. Uh, roll call, please. Born? Here. Bowers. I'm sorry. Let's start again. Bulk? Here. Bowers? Here. Decker? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Clyunis? Excused. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Excused. Surik? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Vu? Here. And Wangaman? Here. 14 present. We do have a quorum. Um, now Alderman Kittleson will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jean. Resignations. Attorney McLean. Let's have approval of the minutes of the formal, former meeting. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resignations, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Aaron Gabriel uh, submitted an email advising that he must do resigned from the housing rehab in that uh, he's forced to work on the road five days a week and can't be in Sheboygan to meet his obligations. President Boyle. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to uh, accept the resignation. Second. Have a motion and a second under discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Confirmation of appointment of city engineer by the Director of Planning and Development, Attorney McLean. Uh, dear Mayor and Council, per Charter Ordinance number 40708, I hereby appoint Ryan Sazma, the city engineer for the city of Sheboygan. Respectfully submitted, Paulette Enders, Director of Planning and Development. President Board. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I uh, move to approve the appointment of Ryan Sazma as the city engineer for the city of Sheboygan. Second. Motion and a second, under discussion. Have a roll call, please. <clears throat> Balk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wankaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Congratulations. City Engineer. <laughs> now the fun starts. Yeah. Uh, Mayor's announcements. We will keep this brief this evening. Um, this comes from uh, Chad Pelashek, our uh, concerning the HUD entitlement funds that the city receives. This is basically a press release um, stating that uh, Chad encourages the citizens of the city to participate in the HUD survey. The HUD survey determines how uh, these uh, grant dollars are spent in the city. And basically, uh, survey will address the following topics, home, home ownership opportunities, rental housing availability, homeless, homelessness programming, public facilities, including streets and sidewalks, Jobs and economic development, personality within neighborhoods, redevelopment and re revitalization efforts, parks and recreation projects, and availability of public services. So uh, we encourage everybody to uh, um, participate in the survey that would, uh, that would like to, and uh, there will be recommendations on the survey available uh, on the uh, city's homepage on the, on the web. 
One other announcement here, um, myself and uh, um, a gentleman named Nick Reed and three of our department heads uh, shot the first episode of a program called City Desk with Mayor Ryan. We uh, shot that last evening. And that will be on television um, beginning on Monday, August 24th at 9 o'clock. This is a one hour long informative program on uh, what's happening in the city. I'm hoping that I get uh, um, three uh, um, aldermanic volunteers to shoot the next one. It'll be once a month. So that'll be on alternating Mondays that the council is not, uh, is not in session. That airs at 9 o'clock and also will uh, uh, replay on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. on, of course, WSCS channels 95 and 990 digital. Wanted to call a couple of letters that I received uh, to the attention of, of the council and to the general public. Um, you know, we, with our, our city employees, we, we always seem to hear about the, the complaints that people have and we never hear about the good stuff. And so I received a couple letters in the last week that I, I just wanted to, uh, wanted to make public. This first one is uh, concerning a, uh, a gentleman named Steve Sokolowski and our director of planning. And it, uh, this comes from uh, Blia Vang uh, of the city of Sheboygan. It says, I wanted to email you to let you know that you have an exceptional employee, Steve Sokolowski. Too often in the rush of business, we miss the opportunity to say thanks or to let people know we appreciated their good work. I wanted to take this moment to thank Steve and share with you what a great job he has done in helping me. I started to work with Steve when I decided to purchase a commercial property on South 12th Street to run my insurance agency. It is my first commercial pur purchase, so I was very nervous as to what needed to be done and if I decided to add on an addition to the place. My realtor referred me to Steve. My first contact with Steve through email was very impressive. He was prompt, very understanding about my situation, but most important of all, he genuinely wanted to help me and find the solution to my problem. From that moment on, I knew that if I didn't know or understand anything, I can count on Steve. Anytime I had a question, I will, e I will email Steve and he always goes above and beyond to help me even though it may not be his responsibility. I wanted to let you know that I sincerely, sincerely appreciate all the help that Steve has given me. I now see the city employees differently through Steve because what matters to me also matters to him. An exceptional employee like Steve is hard to find. As an agent, the hardest task that I face is hiring the right employee to meet the needs of my customers. You've hired, hired the right employee, which is Steve, that has met my needs. Thank you for all that you do for the city of Sheboygan, Steve Sokolowski, and this is Blia Vang. So I just wanted to let people know that, that it's, it's great when we, uh, we have employees that do a good job. Unfortunately, Steve didn't know I was reading this, so he's at home. He's not here. No, he's not. He's right there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, spread some good news for a change. It's always good when you get it. Okay, the consent agenda. 10 1 through 10 12, President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I make a motion to accept and file all our O's and accept and adopt all our C's and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. I have a motion and a second. Under discussion. Under discussion, Mayor Ryan, on document number 10 11. Uh, we have to remove the name. It's about halfway down, uh, license number 6738, Eric Perung. We want to remove that from the document, and I'll be dealing with that individual later on document number 1041. So we'll be voting for the entire document with the exception of Mr. Perung. Okay, does everybody have that? Uh, number 6738 will be removed from the document. Any other discussion? Um, no. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Communications and petitions. To be referred 1013 through 1015. Report of officers two. To be referred 1016 through 1022. Resolutions introduced three. 
1023 by Alderman Gisha authorizing entering into a state slash municipal agreement for Taylor Drive, Superior Avenue to Salmon Avenue. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I ask for a suspension of the rules on this document, please. Second. We have a motion to suspend and a second. Uh, although older person Ryan Flesh is not here, I'd, I'd like to uh, <laughs> offer an explanation as to why um, in reading the document you can see that this has to do with funds given to us from the Superior Avenue to Seaman Avenue corridor and uh, we've been given some verbal latitude on using those funds other than what was originally intended so time is of the essence to take advantage of it while there's interest on the state side. Just an outline, if it is. Uh, on suspension of the rules, any other comment? Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. As I recall, it was uh, allocated six hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars for this project. Anybody know? Yeah, it was. It was in that neighborhood. Okay, but there were some stipulations that we had to provide uh, some other services. What are the uh, monetary amounts? that we have to apply for this. Yeah, I have, who would like to answer this question? We should address suspending the rules first. Okay, first of all, uh, on, on suspension of the rules, can we have a vote on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, now. Uh, Move to allow uh, engineer Sassman to speak. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Put me to work right away. <laughs> I think the question was, what is our commitment to? to yes. The uh, Ryan. We have to pay for the consultant. I'm sorry. We, we, we have to pay for the consultant for the, for the design consultant. of the job, yes. Which is and be that's all? Right. Which is approximately $30,000. dollars roughly, do you have any idea? Th uh, uh, $30,000. Oh. Yeah. So, and the rest of this is uh, federal stimulus money. That, uh, of course, we have a short time to use up before everybody else uses it up first. Any other questions? Thank you, Ryan. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, as further clarification, everyone might recall that this was a number that had a lot of zeros on the back end of it that the state had indicated on previous <coughs> verbal discussions, particularly in the Joint Finance Committee of the State of Wisconsin, where we were going to get somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, three million. Three million dollars. Right. Um, that mysteriously disappeared, and the citizens of Sheboygan are now getting 600 and some odd thousand dollars instead for a more scaled down project. Uh, with that, I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. A motion and a second that the resolution be put, be put upon its passage. That, that difference of 2.3 million or whatever there, that's called administrative fees in Madison. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Under further discussion, roll call please. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Balk? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 10-24 by Alder Person Kittleson to provide the hiring of a new Director of Human Resources and Labor Relations under the hiring freeze. Mr. Mayor, I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second by... And I uh, move to uh, suspend the rules so we can move forward on this quickly. We don't need to, right? We don't need to? We determined not to okay, do it. Very yeah. good, then I will uh, forego the... We won't have to suspend them. Thank you. Um, and just under discussion, Mr. Mayor, I, this is just so we can hire Our a new HR team. director for lots of good reasons. We need one, and this allows us to do it. Lots of good reasons. Thank you. Any further discussion? We have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Sirk? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. And Decker? Aye. Four times. Motion carries. 10-25 has been withdrawn. 10-26 by Alderperson Kittleson, authorizing entering into a contract for professional services for the design and engineering services for Taylor Drive Road Reconstruction and Storm Sewer. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor, uh, for this one. I believe um, 
we need to suspend the rules and we also need to bring forward document 10 39. Yes, we're going to pull forward document 10 39 along with this. Um, this goes, uh, will I make a motion to suspend the rules first? Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second to suspend the rules under discussion under, and suspension. Under discussion, this is with that federal stimulus money, and we need to, there, we are in a timeline with this, and uh, this is for the consultant, I, correct, I believe, for the project that we are going forward with. On, uh, on the, between Superior and Seaman Avenue. Alderman Hanna. Just, uh, just a question, Mayor. If 1023 is successful, doesn't that make 1026 and 1039 moot? Uh, 1023 was for accepting the uh, federal dollars on it, it's and 1026 uh, is for paying for the engineering services. I think 1023 so. is the one where Alderman Gisha, we might be able to change projects. Am I wrong on that? Okay. No, 10, 1023 the is one the we state municipal agreement for the Taylor Drive project. Okay. It was accepting that. Okay. Yeah. That was just accepting. All right, got it. Right. You're going forward this with the project. Contract for professionals. This is, and this for, is, the this is for the city paid services, the, the, right. the um, 1023 says a verbal approval has been received from the state of Wisconsin to change the nature of the work. Right. Well, the, because the original, the original $3 million was so going to be for that's a all just, just adjusting it then. Right. This okay. is adjusting it. And then right. the other resolution, the 1026, uh, is to pay for the, Consultant. Pay for the engineering okay. services. Right. right. Along with 1039. Correct. So on the suspension, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have discussion on the suspension? Anybody? Alderman Bowers on the suspension? Thank you, Mr. Uh, just for clarification, uh, Mr. Sasma said that the uh, was three thousand dollars. Now you see we have twenty nine thousand, which this I'm is sure. the suspension. John, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about the suspension alone, uh, suspension of the rules, not on the document itself. I'm sorry. On the suspension. Any further discussion? All in favor of suspending? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries on suspension. Now, Alderman Bowers. First, first we'll, we we let's, well, let's make a motion. We need to let's accept and file the arrow and then pass the resolution. Please. Yep. We have a motion. And a second. second. Under, discussion. Under discussion. Alderman Bowers. All right. So the, the twenty nine thousand is in the thirty thousand that was uh, original. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's okay. that's for the uh, engineering work. All right. That's for the right. Okay. Any further discussion? Your Honor, comment. Attorney McLean. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I, I know the document shows some X's there as far as the account number. I'm advised by the city clerk that she now has the account number, and that, right. that'll we be filled in by clerk. Thank you. We have the corrected copy. I believe that was put on our, the updated copy was put on all of our desks, so we should have received that. Everyone saw that? Okay. Any further discussion? Vice President Gisha. Just a quick question. I. I did not have that account number prior to coming to the room tonight. I'm wondering where these funds are coming from. City Clerk. Okay, I didn't either. So this is the number, and I'll correct the original document. I do have an account number, but I don't know where they're coming from, so perhaps Chad or someone or Terry could do something. Our Director of Finance, Terry Hansen, would love to answer that yeah. question. <laughs> Can you speak up, Terry? Yeah. It's from prior year street projects that have residual funds left in it. Some street project funds have, you know, a couple thousand, and over the years it accumulates, and this is sufficient to cover that. Thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kath. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. 
Wankaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 14 ayes. Okay, 10-28 to be referred. Three. 27. 27. We didn't do 10-27 oh, 10 lies over. 10-28 to be referred. Yep. 10-29, report of committee six by salary and grievances, recommended filing documents, submitting a proposed table of organization for the police department along with a letter of endorsement of Chief Irick's plan from the members of the Sheboygan Professional Police Association. Alderman Bauk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. I have a motion and a second. Under discussion. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 10 30 by salary and grievances. Recommending filing documents submitting a communication from the law offices of Previant, Goldberg, Ullman, Gratz, Miller, and Bruggeman regarding the potential of a letter of agreement between Local 2039 and the city without opening up the contracts. Alderman Bauk. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. I'd uh, again move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of Committee 7, 10-31, by law and licensing, recommending denying taxi cab driver's license number 8285 based on the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the license activity, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. President Boren. Thank you, uh, Mayor Ryan. I uh, move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Under discussion, uh, Mayor Ryan, is uh, Martin Garcia here tonight? He's not here, Mayor Ryan. Uh, Mr. Garcia had uh, an opportunity to, to appear before the committee. Uh, I don't, no, he did not appear before the committee, and therefore the uh, committee voted unanimously not to grant the license based on the reasons you stated before. Very good. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 10-32 by law and licensing, recommending denying taxi cab driver's license number 8327 based on the applicant's record of violations related to the licensed activity. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion. Under discussion, uh, Mayor Ryan, is uh, Gary Hill here tonight? Mr. Hill is here. Uh, before I call up Mr. Hill, I'd like to uh, inform the council of the uh, report that we got from the uh, Deputy City Attorney, Chuck Adams. Uh, Mr. Hill, uh, these are all 2009 violations. Uh, in 2009, uh, Mr. Hill caused uh, a child to view sexual activity, which is a felony. Uh, also in 2009, he had child sexual assault and another charge of child sexual assault in 2009. For the council's information, this, in, this involved a 14-year-old female. The two misdemeanors for, for child sexual assault, uh, my understanding from the, Mr. Hill appearing at our meeting, were plea bargained down to misdemeanors. Originally, I believe they were felonies. Uh, after hearing Mr. Hill's testimony at the committee hearing, uh, it was uh, the uh, opinion of the committee that we did not feel comfortable issuing Mr. Hill a taxi cab driver's license because of the possibility that he would possibly be transporting minor children unaccompanied in that taxi cab. And with the recent nature and the severity of these charges, we uh, voted unanimously not to grant the license. Now, if Mr. Hill wants to come up and say a few words, he's welcome to, of course. Would you like to speak, Mr. Hill? Uh, Gary, can I just get your home address, please? 
Uh, well, I'm staying at 611 South 15. Okay, go ahead. Uh, on January 2nd, 2009, I was accused of sexual assault from back in 2005. Uh, I admitted to one charge. Uh, the mother was there when it happened, but she denied it in court. Uh, they were charging me with felonies. To get a better deal, they uh, asked me to plea in to two other accusations plus the one that I admitted. So I, I was charged with two misdemeanors. I got two years probation, three years deferred for the felony. So if I get in any trouble within two years, then I get charged with a felony. Uh, during my time here in Sheboygan, I was also a foster parent for two years. I was also with the Neighbors Against Drugs for two years. Uh, I'm s sorry for what happened. I can't go back and change what happened. Uh, I just, uh, I've had the same job for eight years. I was terminated while I was in jail. I lost my house, my car. <clears throat> I was just denied unemployment on Saturday. I have no income whatsoever. And I'm just asking if you would change your decision and grant me the license. I can assure you that you will have no problems with me in this community. I've never had any trouble with the law my whole entire life till this year. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Hill? Alderperson Montemayor. Uh, thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, Mr. Hill, did you say that these occurrences happened in 2005? They happened in 2005, and she accused me in 2009. There's a lot that goes into it. Okay. See, I so between 2005 and now, there have been no charges? No. Okay, thank you. It was first brought forward on January 2nd, 2009. Okay, thank you. So four and years with nothing. Thanks. Yeah, and then I spent five and a half months in jail because... Uh, my jury trial was set for April 21st. On April 21st, my said that he still did not have a uh, police report, a discovery packet, or the audio from the interview. So I ended up sitting in jail for three more months. Does anybody have any further questions for Mr. Hill? Thank you, sir. You can sit up. Any further discussion? Take a roll call, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, a, 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 an I vote would deny the license. A no vote would overturn the committee's. Somebody. The committee is recommended to deny the license. An I vote will deny the license. Roll call, please. Cuff? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? No. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangman? Aye. Born? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Excuse me? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 13 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. 10-33 by salary and grievances recommending filing document submitting RC number 167-09-10 by Public Protection and Safety regarding the new table of organization for the police department. Alderman Bump. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. To be referred, 10-34 will go to finance. Report of committee number eight, 10-35 by the Committee of the Whole, recommending supporting the recommendations from Impact Consultants Incorporated, authorizing staff and Impact Consultants Incorporated to develop plans to implement such recommendations. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. In, in Alderperson Clayunas's absence, I'll make a motion to uh, put the report of the committee uh, upon its passage. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt the report of the committee of the whole. And, and to act on and the, pass resolution. the resolution. And to put the resolution upon its passage. Any discussion? 
Roll call, please. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. And Koth? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Ordinances introduced 10. 10 36 lies over. 10 37 to be referred to public protection and safety. Matters laid over 11. 9 32, resolution number 54 09 10 by Alder Persons Gisha, Clyunis, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2009 budget. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I uh, had my light on before you got to uh, 932. Uh, I believe that uh, that number 1037 should probably also also go to uh, salary and grievances. 10-37. Okay, we will also refer 10-37 to salary and grievances. Thank you. Thank you, President Boren. On 9-32, looking for a motion. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Montemayor. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. And Kittleson. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 9-33, resolution number 55-09-10 by Alder Persons Gisha, Clyunis, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2009 budget, establishing revenue and appropriations for the 2009 Community Development Block Grant Entitlement Program. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion. Roll call, please. Sir? Abstain. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Montemayor? Aye. 13 ayes and one abstention. Motion carries. 9-34, resolution number 56-09-10 by Alder Persons, Gisha, Surik, Balk, Vu, Kath, Kittleson, Heidemann, Rinfleisch, Clayunis, Waterman, <laughs> Decker, <laughs> Bowers, Hannah, Montemayor, and Vanderweel, authorizing and directing the Sheboygan City Attorney to negotiate a new lease or sale with the appropriate representatives of the Spaceport Project. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Uh, under discussion, uh, originally this was just from the Finance Committee. I don't know how we ended up with all these names. I don't know either. It came out of the finance. I think they're through the paper trail, not your fault, I understand, sir. Um, uh, it, uh, thanks. <laughs> glad it took you out of the loop. But uh, it, the more the merrier, I suppose. And it's, <laughs> and it's a feel-good project, so people like to jump on board on those. That's things. great. The more the merrier. That's good. Under discussion. No further discussion. Roll call, please. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. And Surik? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 9-35, resolution number 57-09-10 by Alder Persons. Gisha, Surik, Bauchvu, Koth, Kittleson, Heidemann, Rinfleisch, Plyunis, Wangaman, Decker, Bowers, Hannah, Montemayor, and Vanderweel. Authorizing the mayor and all appropriate city officials to organize and negotiate the potential use of Sheboygan County Huber Law participants to do assigned work as directed. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, once again, the long list of names, same issue. Uh, I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion. Roll call, please. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Surik and Vanderweel. Aye. 14 ayes. 
Motion carries. 9-69, resolution number 58-09-10 by Alder Persons, Gisha, Clyunas, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing waiving the competitive bidding process and entering into contract for city development and building inspection department furniture. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Have a motion and a second under discussion. If I may, Your Honor, um, it always gets a little skittish when you're waiving a competitive bidding process. I think it would be important for uh, the public to understand that these vendors for this furniture work with the state of Wisconsin program, which is where we buy a lot of stuff because they negotiate the lowest bid via a larger universe of all municipalities in the state. So it isn't as though we're just picking one. This is the lowest bid through the Wisconsin process. So this is the uh, basically the uh, bid that has been worked out by the state for a group buying Correct. program. Correct, and that works the same way with trucks and trailers right. and stuff like that as well. Very good. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. And Vu. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 9-71. Resolution number 59-09-10 by Alderperson Gisha, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into the First Amendment Shared Services Agreement for purchasing agent services with the County of Sheboygan. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Thank you, Your Honor. If I may, uh, this agreement will continue the arrangement we have with shared services with the county of sharing Bernie, the joint purchasing agent. Uh, we have uh, had an update at the uh, City County Shared Services Committee on several efforts that have already borne financial fruit, in other words, saving tax dollars. Um, and it was our basically run for the first six months. This uh, allows you, I believe, Your Honor, to enter into the final contract to extend that out for another six months, and uh, we'll kind of keep the ball rolling. And, and Bernie does do a fine job, and we've, we've seen nothing but good results. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Warren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Surik, Vanderweel, Vu, Aye. and Wangaman. Aye. 14 ayes. 9-70, RC number 156-09-10 by salary and grievances, recommending approval of the shared services agreement for purchasing agent services. Alderman Bump. Mr. Mayor, I move that the RC be accepted and adopted, but in light of what we just did, I'm not sure that it needs to be. So should it be? We can just accept and adopt. Okay. And all right, then accept and adopt. And all eyes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 9-45, general ordinance number 9-09-10 by Alderpersons Gisha, Clyunas, Montemayor, and Heidemann, amending various sections of the municipal code relating to the timetable for preparation and presentation of the proposed annual budget to the Common Council. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this uh, change to city ordinance is kind of a cleanup of the old process of the budget that had kind of some arbitrary dates that often year to year ended up being on a Saturday or a Sunday of certain deadlines. This sets a new procedure and process for our budget that I think all department heads as well as yourself have been participating in and uh, sets up a, uh, a new schedule for that and this change in ordinance will allow for the flexibility in doing that. Thank you. Any uh, further discussion? Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I, it just says throughout here, on or before the date established each year by the Common Council, so we, we will be establishing that date or do we, do we have a date? Can I? Vice President Kishan. We will be establishing that date. Thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Bauk? Aye. Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? <coughs> Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. 
Wangaman. Aye. And Boren. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries 9-66, general ordinance number 10-09-10 by Alderperson Spout, Kittleson, Koth, Heidemann, and Gisha, amending the municipal code so as to delete and create the secretary court services in the police department's table of organization. Alderperson Bout. Mr. Mayor, I'd uh, move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. And I'd move to uh, amend one small portion of it. Uh, that portion being in the middle column, the job code. Uh, you see under create secretary court services, it starts with the letter C. We need to, to undo that, that's a misprint. And we need to replace it with the, uh, the code D as in dog, 10860A. Tell me again where that is. Sorry, D. No, I'm sorry, tell me where it is under oh, create. Uh, under the job code, okay. the very bottom job code. So create. take out C10511A. Yes, ma'am. And put in what? D. 10860 alpha. 60 alpha, thank you. And what this document does is it fixes uh, the document 1036 that lies over until our next meeting uh, where there is minimum qualifications missing. This replaces that document uh, which has the appropriate minimum qualifications. So this would supersede that page in your packet. Very good, any further discussion? Oh, a second on the amendment? Jean did. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. We can just start in all eyes on the amendment first. Okay, on the amendment. Amendment only. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Now on passing the... To move to uh, uh, put the ordinance upon its passage as amended. As amended. Second. And a second. Under discussion. No further discussion? Roll call, please. Bowers. Aye. Decker? Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Balk? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. 10-38, a resolution. Alderman Wangaman authorizing entering into an agreement for interim human resource and Labor Relations Consulting Services with HR Unlimited, LLC. Alderman Wangerman. Uh Thank you, Your Honor. I would uh, move that this document uh, be, uh, we ask for suspension of the rules, reference this document. We have a motion to suspend the rules. Second. And a second. Under discussion on suspension? Uh, just as a matter of information, I think everybody in the room is well aware of the situation with the HR director and the urgency needed to uh, get a new HR director as quickly as possible into place and uh, passage of this document would uh, immediately would do that. On the suspension only, any further discussion? On the suspension, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I would, I would then move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. If I just may make a uh, a short explanation on this. Um, this is a, a gentleman who is here this evening who has a, comes well recommended. He will be working in a capacity as an interim HR consultant for the city, uh, very experienced in labor negotiations, will be coming on on a part-time basis. Um, our permanent HR director uh, should be hired hopefully within about five weeks. We have the ball rolling on that. Um, however, in the interim, we want to make sure that, uh, that we have all our ducks in the line and that our HR department is going forward rather than uh, things falling through the cracks. We can't, uh, can't tolerate that. Uh, the gentleman we're looking at is, is Tom Rice and uh, his, uh, his, his company, which is HR Unlimited LLC, is, uh, is, is what he will be working under. Any discussion? Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'm sure Mr. Rice is a very qualified person. However, we don't have any of his qualifications or his company's qualifications here. Um, would it be appropriate to have Mr. Rice give us some background on his company himself, how he sees this working with our HR department, how they work with other people in similar situations? That would be quite helpful on this vote. Very good. May we have a uh, motion to open the microphone to Mr. Rice? Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, 
Now, if you could just pull the microphone where. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me give you a brief, ba brief background. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. I've spent my entire working career in HR. I started with um, Ford Motor Company, <clears throat> then on to U U.S. Steel and several other companies since that time. Um, <clears throat> most recently was employed by uh, a company called uh, Track International in Port Washington, Wisconsin for 11 years. Uh, re was uh, basically laid off at the end of that 11 years because they sold the company. It was my responsibility to close the plants and lay off 540 employees. I was the vice president of HR. Um, since that time, I've been doing consulting. I consult with uh, two primary companies right now. One of them is Morgan Aircraft. You may be aware of them. Uh, they are in the process of uh, putting together a, a business that's going to create uh, a number of jobs for Sheboygan County. I also do consulting with another company called Digitenna, which is growing rapidly, making digital antennas for uh, commercial use. Um, in terms of labor relations, I've done uh, labor contracts with the Machinist Union, with the Boilermakers Union, uh, negotiated at least eight contracts with those unions over the years. Uh, I'm very familiar with all benefits and uh, typical HR and general uh, personnel type of activities. So, are there any questions? Alderman Gisha. If I may, if you don't mind, I'll sit while we do it. That's uh, fine. Do you, uh, do you have any municipal experience? I do not. Okay. Um, can you, you mind? If go I keep going? Thank you. Um, in the document, not your fault, in front of us, it doesn't, and by the way, I'm, I'm for doing this, so I'm not trying to uh, derail this at all. There's no mention of rates, fees, budgets, dollars. Um, Look on the back. Uh, expected, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what we're paying you. What, we, what we've agreed to, and there will be a contract drawn up, um, Terry, Terry Hansen and Attorney McLean. It should be uh, on the back of the uh, resolution. Yeah, the back of the resolution the has resolution. some numbers on it. Yeah, 75, but there's no mention as to how many hours yeah. uh, his firm would be working, what's the top end? He'll be working as needed. Um, maximum, um, maximum hours would be 30 hours a week, but that will be determined um, by myself how many hours that, uh, that uh, Mr. Rice will be needed. That would be maximum. This is only for this short period. And to get us through the next five weeks or until we have a permanent HR director. So it will, it's not a full-time position. There will be some days where, um, you know, we'd like to keep her down closer to 20 hours, but it could be up to 30 hours in a week. If I may? Certainly. Um, that's great. And I, and I applaud you for taking such swift action and, and finding, obviously, a qualified person uh, to do this. Would it be appropriate, however, this document doesn't speak to budgets and dollars. This is an open checkbook and an open contract. And I know sometimes we would like to get things done quicker, but circumstances being what they are, this could take longer than just a short period of time. Would, um, would it be appropriate? Uh, and perhaps it would, if other aldermen have some input on this, that we would put a maximum dollar amount on here, not would, to exceed. I would not be opposed to that. Uh, if, if I may then uh, uh, add, offer an amendment uh, uh, in any manner that's appropriate, maybe an additional now therefore be it resolved, uh, or just add it to the final sentence saying, uh, with expense not to exceed $20,000. I, I'm throwing a number out there because I don't have a calculator here to do the quick math. Um, that's 10 weeks. That's about 10 weeks. That's 10, 10 weeks? You know, I'd hate to do it too short, and then you have to go back. Ter Terry, you confirm that one, 10 weeks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I would like to offer that amendment to not to exceed a, a total contract amount of 20000 If not, I'll if you wouldn't mind just coming back. And that should be, that should be sufficient. Okay. I don't want to strangle it, but we have to have some sort of and game. Alderman Hanna. Yeah, I just wanted to, to weigh in. I was familiar with Tom's work when he was with track, and he was very well respected. So I think we're very fortunate to have somebody of his caliber. Thank you, sir. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. And uh, just so the public knows, that $20,000 would be, uh, it, it's my understanding that $20,000 would be coming out of salary that we had allocated for previous HR directors. So we're not Correct. having to scramble to come up with another 20. This was budgeted for the person who just left city employment. Exactly. Alderman Bell. 
I was just going to, uh, thank you, Your Honor. I was just going to give uh, Alderman Gisha the number he needed. That's good math, good math. Um, Terry, nine weeks? Okay, nine weeks should be sufficient. By nine weeks, hopefully, we will have an HR director hired. So we will put that as an amendment to this um, amount not to exceed $20,000. $20, Very good? That's, I'm at your disposal. Uh, whatever works. I just, I want to fill in in the interim so that I, I spent a few minutes with Vicki the other day and um, I think we could work well together and I just want to be able to ha take some of the heat off of her during this period of time as she's working. So. And Vic Vicki is the, uh, is the secretary down in the, in the HR department. So, if anybody's wondering. Okay, any further discussion on the amendment Did I hear somebody buzzing in here? No. On the amendment, oh, Alderman Bulk, are you? Oh, okay. My light should be off. You're off. On the amendment only. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. So we have that amendment. Got the amendment. Now we go back to the original motion as amended. Okay. Alderman Longerman. I will then uh, make a motion to uh, put the document as amended upon its passage. Okay, motion in a second as amended. <clears throat> Does anybody have any more questions for Mr. Rice? Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thanks. Alder Person Montemayor. Thank you, Mayor, Mayor Ryan. I think this is kind of minor, but just on terms number seven. The city and or consultant reserve the right to terminate the consultant agreement by giving written Probably notice instead of not. Yeah, written the notice. Party. Right. That's all. Very good. We'll just call that a typo so we don't have to make an amendment. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Bulk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Disha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Clayunis, I'm sorry, using the wrong one. She's not here. All righty, Montemayor. Aye. Sarek. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. And Boren. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Uh, 1039 was uh, done with 1026. 1040, an RC by Wellness and Group Health Insurance Committees authorizing certain members of the Wellness Committee and or Group Health Insurance Committee to designate al alternates and passing the attached substitute resolution. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I would uh, make a motion to an, uh, accept and adopt the report of committee and put the substitute resolution upon its passage, please. Second. Have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Just under discussion, we just recommend this so that uh, when we have trouble getting a quorum, that people on the committee can designate uh, another person to attend the meeting. Thank you. Very good. Any further discussion? No further discussion. Roll call, please. Bowers? Decker, Gisha, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Heideman, Aye. Koth, Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Montemayor, Surik, Vanderweel, Aye. Vu, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. and Balk. 14 ayes. Motion carries 10-41 an RC by law and licensing recommending denying beverage operator license number 6738 based on the applicant's record of violations related to the licensed activity. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion. Under discussion, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, is Eric Perung here tonight? He's not here, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Uh, Perung appeared before our committee uh, last Tuesday night, and we were willing to work with Mr. Perung on this license with the recommendation of his probation officer and at this time, his probation officer did not feel that uh, that we should we should grant the license. So, again, we were going to work with him on the probationary probation officer's recommendation. Probationary officer said no at this time. So, on that uh, on that, we'll we 
uh, will deny the license. Very good. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Decker? I'm sorry, Bowers. Aye. It's getting late. 14 eyes. You want me to slow down? No. No? Okay. 10-42, <laughs> a resolution by Alderperson Kittleson to provide for the hiring of a police officer under the hiring freeze. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would make a, a motion to suspend the rule. We won't need to. We don't need to. No. Thank okay. you. Then uh, we'll make, uh, the motion is to uh, move to pass the resolution, please. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Um, as an exception to this rule, we left the hiring freeze. Uh, we lift the hiring freeze uh, as established by resolution number 740809 and approve the hiring of a new police officer. Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor. Would this be a, a, an officer uh, that will be on the street or in the office? Or? Yes. Thank you. But um, I can answer that. Nope. Actually, the uh, yeah we're. Um, we did have the uh, resignation of one of our community policing officers recently, or the retirement. Um, and uh, this, this uh, officer that comes on board uh, will be an entry-level officer that will be on the street. And the, uh, the other uh, position uh, in community policing, we had two. We're going to go down to one community policing officer for at least the short term. Chief, get it right? That's correct. Any further discussion? Alderman Bow. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I was just going to back you up. I'm a little late on the button today. Uh, also, this brings the force up to 81 of 83 on the TO, and we also have three officers that are off serving in Iraq, uh, so they're actually playing 78 men and women uh, to a TO of 83. So this helps close that gap, and the Chief's doing exactly the right thing by, uh, you know, by putting this officer on the street. Further discussion, Alderperson Kittleson? Thank you, Mayor. Just a, a correct correction up on that. I think that brings it up to 82 of 85. Am I correct, Chief? 82 of 85. What she said. <laughs> so 82 <laughs> is 79. <laughs> so they're still playing in that. Right. Yeah. Just. Very good. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Falk, Aye. Bowers, Aye. and Decker. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 10-43, a resolution by Alderman Bauk authorizing an incentive program for the Department of Public Works employees eligible for retirement to meet the requirements of the STAR program to reduce the numbers of layoffs. Alderman Bauk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, move the resolution be put upon its passage. Uh, we will need uh, suspension. And I would move to suspend the rules. Second. Um, on suspension only, under discussion. Suspension only. All, not on suspension. Okay, on, on suspension only, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, what this does is creates... Sorry. It's a little bit of an incentive, but really what it is is uh, when we lay off uh, or if we lay off some additional public works people, it's going to cost us about $10,000 per person in unemployment compensation that the city has to pay to those people for the, the weeks that they would be unemployed, the beginning of that unemployment journey. Uh, so the, what the Salary and Grievances Committee has done is said, let's see if we can offer that $10,000 to some employees that might, be, might choose to retire, get them to retire. Uh, and then that would save us from having to lay off those three or four uh, public works employees. So what this is, and, and normally I wouldn't be a fan of uh, paying someone to retire early, uh, but in this case, we're going to spend the money anyway. Uh, that's one. And two, the TO has already been changed, and, and we need to be really clear that that TO is going to be enforced come August 31st. Uh, and so uh, after this incentive, if enough people don't retire, we will lay off the appropriate number of people to get us to the public works TO. So in that spirit, I'm very much in support of this potential uh, bonus. Alderman Buck, we still need a, a, re a motion to pass the uh, resolution. And I would move to pass the resolution. And a second. second. And a second. Under further discussion, we had Alderman Bowers in first. Uh, 
He answered my question. Very good. Alderman Hanna. Great. Thank you. Just some clarification. Do we self-fund our uh, unemployment? Yeah, our unemployment So now will these bonuses then come out of that self-fund? So we're not going to pay this because we've already funded it. Right. What it, what it is, is if, is if somebody goes on unemployment, we, we don't have an unemployment compensation fund in so, the city. So we fund it as it occurs. We fund it so as this, it occurs. So basically all you're doing is journal into a different account. Right, right. Okay. The, the number is 94, 9400 and change okay. if somebody in entry level employee maxes out their 26 weeks unemployment. It's 10000 if we can get somebody to retire. That can keep a younger employee or an entry level employee maybe with a wife and a kid at home working yeah. and that's, I just that's, I just didn't want to have this already have set money aside and then not be able to access it no okay no, this great is, thank you any further discussion president board uh, nothing thank you any further discussion roll call please Hannah Aye. Heideman Koth Kittleson Aye. Montemayor Aye. Surik Aye. Vanderweel Aye. Vu Wangaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. And Gisha. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters? Attorney McLean. 10-44 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2011. That goes to law and licensing. 1045 is a communication from Chris Helminiak regarding the problems they're having with the wild side bar, such as fireworks, fights in their backyard between patrons and the bouncer and loud and obnoxious noise. That goes to law and licensing. 1046, submitted communication from Irene Sintron, real estate restructure specialist for the ground lease purchase program regarding the SBA lease purchase options. That will go to finance. 1047, submitting a communication from Jonathan Perwitz, requesting to file an appeal to the sex offender residency restrictions. That will go to public protection and safety. 1048 is a communication from Carl Williams, requesting that the Department of Works be held to the commitments they made to repair the lights beneath the Penn Avenue Bridge, repair the fence along the river walk, and cut back the overgrowth graffiti. That will go to public works. 1049 is a communication from the Harbor Center Bid District requesting permission to hold a festival on the riverfront called Harvest Fest on Saturday, October 3, and making various requests of the city. That will go to Public Works and Transit. 1050 is an RO by the Redevelopment Authority. Uh, your authority to whom was referred RO 1540910 relative to a request from the City Tourism Division to use Redevelopment Authority owned property in the South Pier District for Labor Day Festival activities recommends approval of the request. And that lies over. Before we adjourn, uh, Alderman Wangaman has a word he would like to say. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. As you all know, uh, Mayor Barrett in Milwaukee was severely beaten and quite badly injured. And I think it would be appropriate for the council to at least send a uh, card to him uh, uh, showing our concern. Uh, Alderman Hanna has graciously uh, suggested that he would go out and have a card ready for us and we'd like to have it at the Committee of the Whole meeting tomorrow night and I, I would appreciate any other city officials that would care to sign it just to show our concern for his well-being and our wishes for a speedy recovery. Very good. That's a uh, very noble gesture. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Opposed. We're out of here. I have a document, Miss.